Hey friends, um, a long time no hang out with. So I have been living a very busy life lately. <laughs> um, I mean, very, very busy. There has been so much going on. And when I'm able to tell you about it, I will. But until then, we're busting out the neons because I have not done a neon soap in a very, very long time. And summer's right around the corner. So I figure, well, why in the hell of it not? So um, this neon yellow is TKB Trading. The pink is TKB Trading. And all the rest are from Soapbox Mica, which she's no longer in business. But you can get the same neons from TKB Trading as well. And many other um, suppliers. But that's where I got these, just in case you were wondering. So, I'm going to be doing the heat transfer method. So, I'm just waiting on my butters and stuff to melt over here. And um, I'm going to be using... I did an unboxing for Brambleberry's um, Bohemian, I believe it was Bohemian Summer Botanical Bean. I don't even have it with me. Anyway, <laughs> so they sent me the set and it smells amazing. And if you guys, I did film it, I just, I film it. I did film it. I just did not post it. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section and I will post it. But this is one of the fragrances from it. This is the Wildflower. Camera, what you doing? Okay. So um, when it ever decides to focus, this is Wildflower Breeze. And it smells just like, I don't even know how close to summer you can get. Other than this, it's so f oh, it's so fresh and it's citrusy and it's bright. And I think it just goes perfect with what I got going on here. I don't know why I'm so close. Yeah, probably because I'm trying to hide the mess around me. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and stir up these neons. What's in my cups with my neons is just a little bit of my liquid oils. Um, so I can mix these up really good. And then we will start to mix up. So what I'm going to do guys you know the column pour has been the bane of my soaping existence since day one i've tried i think three or four or five <laughs> and every time they fail so i'm gonna give it another go and see how that works um i don't know what's gonna work differently i'm just gonna hand stir which i think i did last time and it still didn't work but anywho we're gonna give it a go and plus right now in the challenge club it's a thing so they brought it back. So I figure why not pop in to and test my look and see what I can make happen. So that's enough chatting. I'm going to go ahead and get all this stuff mixed up because i got to keep an eye on my butters over here and get all this stuff mixed up before it settles. So we shall see. What I'm going to be using as my column is just this spice little jar that I have. I feel like it's perfect because it's weighted and it has like little scallop edges and if everything's floating up it's gonna work perfectly if not then you know how i do i'm gonna make it work boom all right oh i forgot to mention that i'm using red as well um because it's kind of like neon red and that red is um a small portion of really red mica from nurtures nature's garden nurture soap yes for the, all of my soap life, I will be calling those two the same thing. <laughs> and um, I have Bee Scented Red High Heel as well. So I mix those two because I'm out of Really Red Mica. So I heard Trial by Fire by Nurtures is amazing. So I ordered, I think, four ounces of that. So that should be on its way. And everybody says it's a really, really good red. So I'm hoping to see. Okay, back to what I was doing. guys i haven't made soap in well over a month so um i did the heat transfer method but i forgot to show you guys <laughs> i really did forget that i was supposed to turn the camera back on uh, please forgive i will be posting more soap videos so making videos and i'll show you in that one but i'm i'm pretty certain a lot of you already know what it looks like but for those of you who do not know what that is it's where you take your hot lye you don't have to wait until the temperature cools off it's best if it's very hot and you pour that into your um your hard oils and butters and then let that melt and then you pour your pour your liquid oils into that and it ends up being your soap batter that way you don't have to wait so 
so I really enjoy doing that just because it is much faster so I'm gonna split these off as evenly as possible and then we'll grab our mold and get to doing this column pour so I'm gonna line these cups up so I can make sure everybody has the same amount and then I'll put it back where you guys can see it right now let me clean up my mess yep, I know I'm way out of view but I need to say and this red has more than everybody else I don't know how I end up doing that but let's get the green a little bit and then pop everybody else off No more for the red. And we get the blue. A lot more because the blue has the least amount. So I guess I can go ahead yeah, and put pretty much all of, well, I know pretty much, but all the rest of blue in there. And um, for those who don't follow me on Instagram, um, we have a new dog. He is a min pin. I have wanted a min pin since that had to be like 2005 I believe it was because I used to live in an apartment and one of my neighbors had one and her name was Tulips and I just thought she was the most cutest little thing I've ever seen so um, men pins are normally like 10 10 to 12 pounds my guy is a little bit bigger Duke he is a big dog in a small package he's 17 pounds but he swear he's a newborn puppy <laughs> And he's seven years old, but he, he's an infant. So most people think he's a puppy because he acts like one, but he is a full grown man. So <laughs> he has been really keeping us busy. Like I said, it's been a lot going on over here with me and Royal Appleberry. But yeah, so we did get a, a new doggy. And I just am crazy about the little stinker. Now, he loves Hunter way more than he loves anybody on this earth. <laughs> But that's okay. I still love him. <laughs> yeah. He just comes to me for all the scratches. And he goes to her for everything else whenever she comes over. He is definitely not a guard dog. As soon as you walk in the house within five seconds, he's definitely going to be in your lap. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so much for that. But then he goes outside and harass the whole neighborhood as if he's guarding the whole block. So, yeah, there's that. This neon yellow is funky looking but we're gonna leave it as is so i did not um i didn't stick blend because i need this to be as fluid as possible so everything's gonna get hand stirred i think that's the best way to do this since i always end up <laughs> with a yeah a clumpy mess so so this is the best way to do it get it nice and mixed in and i'll even in my fragrance oil which that is the most important part oh and our dog's name is Duke I will show you guys him or him you all one day but we oh, I missed a whole color oh my word guys I forgot my orange it was sitting over here all by its lonesome and I have no more oils to put in here oh my <sighs> okay well damn it I really <laughs> that orange was really gonna liven things up how did I forget that but oh well there's nothing I can do about that now so we're gonna just leave it out and I will just a few ounces of oil well actually I don't need to put that in because sometimes I go just the hair over on my oils and that's like probably I don't know an ounce if that I can't believe I did that. Oh well. So I'm going to stick this mold in here wherever it's going to fit. Oop. Yeah, I probably should tighten that because that's not tight at all. If you guys want to know where I get my acrylic molds from, they come from 
the lovely Alex and Alex from Custom Craft Tools. My boo things. I love them so much. Oh, I didn't even know this was my new mo. I still got the paper on this side. The Hunter bought me for Christmas. I just cannot believe I forgot that orange. That orange is like the brightest one. And I forgot it. Damn it. Okay, so I added white. A little bit of TD to that. Because that yellow was gross. So that looks a thousand times better. And this, um... Wildflower breeze is supposed to behave extremely well. It smells hella good. And everything is still behaving. So, I'm happy. I think I just may get one. But let me not talk too soon. <laughs> Don't want to drink myself. Okay, so this fragrance is very nice and very strong and just a beautiful, beautiful, delightful fragrance. And everything, all of mine, um, have fragrance in it. And I don't want to pour any more because um, everybody has it and everybody's still fluid and I ain't trying to mess nothing up. So we're just going to go ahead and leave it as is. But boy, does it smell good. So, uh, And that's less than two ounces that I use. That's how great it is. So I'm going to put my red and my purple together. I'm going to put my pink and my green and then my yellow and my blue. Is it going to stay like this? Probably not. But that's the thought process so far. All right. You should always follow your first mind. I said like 3,000 times change your battery. I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Apparently I wasn't. So try to make some room. I got the world's biggest soap table I feel and then always never have room. All right, so I think we're good. I think we're good. Yes, everything is still so fluid. Do I want these two colors together? Girl, you figure it out. So I think... I don't know how I'm going to do this, but let me shut up. So I'm going to save a little bit in each cup so I'll be able to fill in the center once I pull all of this off and get this out of here. Because, oop, well we're not going to move this around. That's not what we're doing, Kenny. And for those of you who are new to my channel, hello. I am so fucking happy you found my channel. I didn't even introduce myself. I'm Kenny. Or did I? I don't remember. But I'm Kenny the Messy Soaper. <laughs> And I am really fucking happy you found me. So that pulled out so nice. I'm going to get that out of there before we make a mess. Put that over there because I don't want those yucky colors in there. <sighs> Would you stop dripping that? Okay, so I end off with purple. And then we're going to go ahead and fill in the center with blue. We're going to keep going until we have nothing left. I was not really expecting it to look like this. But I like it. Now I'm going to do something a little different, but I really want to finish off with pink. I don't want purple as my last color. I just think the pink would be better. 
which now that I did it, I, I like the purple. But I got just a teeny dribble of pink left. So I'm going to put that right in the center. And this is super duper fluid, which I'm so happy for. So from that one, that's the way I'll be doing these. If I decide to do another, which I'm more than pretty 1000% I'm going to do more. Because this turned out so lovely. And like I said, this Brambleberry fragrance is just the most perfect fragrance. I mean, I couldn't ask for a better fragrance for this soap design because it's just so bright and summery. This reminds me of the circus. I don't know why. It really does these colors. And so now if you wonder why I call myself the messy soaper, you kind of got a glimpse of it. I'm going to zoom you guys in because that's kind of dope. It really is. I don't want to move it too much because I still got stuff to do to it. So let's get all of this out of the Zoe. I do not like to stack my cups when they have soap batter in them. Just because they kind of suction together and it's really hard for me to get them loose when I already wash them. So, but I'll get them out. Okay. So I feel like I want to go in first. So that's what we're going to do. Because I felt like I wanted to do it. I adore this so freaking much oh my goodness this turned out so beautiful so now I'm going to don't want to go out well you know what when in Rome which we're not in Rome but we're gonna do it oh I'm so happy I did that that is amazing balls I love oh my oh guys okay I'm okay Okay, as much as I would love to do something else, we know better. So we're going to stop. Um, I kind of want to add like some gold drizzles or some glitter. But then again, I'm just like, you leave perfection alone. <laughs> I'm just not even, I'm so mad that these colors are just not even showing you what it really looks like. Oh my goodness. <sighs> man this is fantastic now if I would have been thinking I would have done a gold drizzle but I would have put it on first before I started to swirl it and then it would have incorporated I thought I, I really think that would have been like super dope but too late but I can do that for the next one because I have three of these mouths <laughs> so <laughs> that's why I wanted so many so I would be able to go ham when I wanted to Oh my goodness, I kind of just want to go back down again. But I think we are going to leave well enough alone. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and put these dividers in here before I lose it and do it anyway. So, um, yeah. So here's my dividers. They're already sent up. Make sure I'm putting it the right way. Don't go in here and muck nothing up. So let me get everything aligned. Okay. All right, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put these in here before I decide to go mucking with it. But it, no. Woo! I'm so glad that it didn't go down. I got to get a picture for the grand. It's a must. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, I just had to. So now I'm going to go ahead and put um, the um, dividers in. And I took my gloves off, but I'm not touching any raw soap or anything like that. So we are good. Oh, that is just so, oh my goodness. Every time I look at the camera colors and I look at what's going on here, it just doesn't even, it's not, it's not the same. <laughs> 
I just wish this color would give you what I'm getting. But that is it. We're going to leave this baby. I'm going to let it sit here for at least an hour before I try to move it. I need to make more so, but I'm too scared to move this because it's just way too fluid right now. So we're going to leave that be and then you guys can hang on because the uh, unmolding is coming up right now. Welcome back to the unmolding of this column pour. I just... <laughs> I just love this soap so much. I really, really do. And it's been sitting. I put all of my soaps in a steamer trunk. Now, I used to not gel my soaps, but obviously, as you can see, it does help uh, with the saponification process. So I need it for this soap to be as perfect as possible. So I just popped it on in there. And I know this will come off easily, but I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm just going to take my time. It's coming off, but... Um, I just want it to come off clean and boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, does this fragrance smell amaze balls. It is so bright and happy. I just can't even get over how good this smells. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really happy. I want to do a couple more um, neon soaps. I haven't decided like what I want them to look like or anything, but... I have decided that I do want some more neon soaps. It is very hard to pull this out with gloves on. Yeah, no, so, I got some laying around here, and this is not normal. But because, of, like I said, look, as you can see, my gloves are kind of slippery. So I do want to take my dividers out first. There we go. Now we got a grip on it. I just couldn't grip them. I'm just like, uh, like even now, I still can't grip them. And the soap is actually coming up with the divider. So there's one piece right there and it is so glorious oh my gosh look how vibrant it is i'm so happy that it stayed super vibrant like that i love myself a neon beautiful so um yeah i was trying to think am i going to keep this in its pattern um i think the answer is y'all's yes i am and then that way I can take a picture from my website and then we can uh, package them up. But I would like to take a picture with them in their normal pattern. I need another bottle of this fragrance. It smells amazing. It is just so good. And I know I always say that behind tea. If I tell you, I wouldn't lie to you. I mean it. <laughs> I really do mean it. Because this is, yes. Brambleberry, yes, yes, and yes some more. Okay. And me using these needles, they don't um, cause damage to my mold or anything like that. I'm just slightly grabbing the side. Very lightly. It just helps me get a hold on them, especially when my hands are, you know, so, did I, even, I know I used the divider, I mean the liner on here, so where is it? I guess I didn't, I thought I did, oh my, there is no liner on here, interesting, so, well, at least you see that you don't need a liner with this mold either, um, and they will still come off, but, um, I thought it was not warm down here, honey, let me tell you, it is, I'm like sweating like a crazy person. Okay, so I'm just going to slide these off since I don't have the liner on here. I really thought I used a liner on here. That's crazy. Did not, but that's her and all of her neon gloriousness. <laughs> so this stuff will be ready um, in my June's release. So I'll be on the lookout for that. I don't know. I haven't decided today if it's going to be early Jean, June. Jean. Who's Jean? Early June. Or, um, um, yeah, what am I saying? It's not June, July. Oh my god, guys, forgive me. I really started not to record, um, but I knew I wanted to get these soaps out of the mold so I can get them curing, and I did want to show you guys at least that much. But I am so sorry that I'm just not with it today. <sighs> So, on that note, I'm just going to go ahead and say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. From the bottom of my heart, I always do. Um, 
I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Tell me what your highlight of your day is in the comment section. Um, my highlight is everybody's healthy. Um, yeah, that's my highlight. Everybody's healthy in my family. So, tell me what your highlight is. And then, um, if you feel the need to or want to interact with this channel, please do by leaving a comment, even if it's an emoji, uh, subscribing, giving a thumbs up. Thumbs ups are always helpful. And uh, share if you like. You can share my videos in your groups or what have you. That would be so greatly appreciated. And it does help support Royal Appleberry. If you do want to help support Royal Appleberry, that's the way to do it without spending a dime. Now, if you do want to spend dimes, <laughs> Um, you don't even have to purchase the soap if you want to hit that uh, applaud button. It's right down at the bottom of the screen somewhere. You can hit that and make a small donation to my channel. It's just like buying me a cup of coffee. So on that note, be awesome and amazing everything you do. I'll see you guys in the next making video. And just again, thank you guys so much for all your support. Bye.